not to acquire a state where some Igbo traders and businessmen under the aegis of the Igbo Traders Association staged a peaceful protest against alleged intimidation of members over tax default allegations by the Quara State Internal Revenue Service. Officials of the revenue agency, according to the traders, stormed their shopping complexes with Revenue Mobile Court to prosecute them, locking their business premises in the process without any form of prior notification or representation, insisting they are up to date in payment of their taxes and rates. We are against mobile court to come to somebody's without even notification. Even though if there is any notification, there is an objection to us to that. And some of them are not at home. Like where we are standing now, the man is not at home. And the court, with mobile, that's mobile court, came to lock their place. That's intimidation of highest order. They will write our people demanding 700,000 per year, 1.5 million per year, 800,000 per year. When they replied then that we have already paid, we, already, we are paying, okay, they will ask us to subtract, subtract what we have paid before from the new bill they gave us. They are by calculating like 10 years ago and giving us a just bill of 10 million, 15 million, 9 million, and uh, that we must pay. While we go with our lawyer, discuss with them and try to explain things to them that we have paid this task up to 2022. What we are trying to pay now is 20 uh, to the three tasks, which by law we are supposed to start paying by November. But as our situation concerned, we close our meeting by November and open. F Responding to the allegations via telephone, the Corporate Affairs Department of the Quara IRS said the revenue agency conducted a mobile court to prosecute tax defaulters in the state. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.